it stinks. I think this needs a carb kit. We'll see what happens here. Hooked. I should probably be inside the truck. Getting a winch with one of these remotes when you're a shit box specialist is absolutely crucial. This one's I don't know a whole lot about, to be honest. We went down to get it in the dark, you know. I kind of just, I kind of snagged this up. It's got a little bit, he said this paint back here was done before they owned it. She's got a little bit of weight reduction. Yeah, look down here. But the bed, the bed, other, I don't know what was done here. Inside, I mean, and this is exactly how I picked it up. So look at that bed though. Now, of course the interior, seat's a little worn. Original car, it's got some spare parts. The dash, of course, is cracked. They always crack it in these loves. I don't unless she stored it inside. She's got a little separation anxiety there. We'll, well, maybe actually that's not too bad. Let's look in the horse barn. I mean, she's all there. He even said the AC worked when he parked. He did squirt gas in the car and it fired up briefly when I was there, but it it wouldn't stay running. Oh, the compressor still turns. These hoses don't look bad at all like it very well could still work this still has a cap the stock cap on it still good Ooh, i better be careful with that we're going to toss a battery in here when when he did try to start it up there he was pumping it and i could just smell the varnish in there so it's getting gas i think that gas is just junk and we'll crank it a little bit maybe get it run on brake clean see if it can choke and sputter to life on that old stale gas We'll just zip tie mod this thing in here. It'll be fine. As long as you know she doesn't fly clear out of there, you're all right. This is a homemade oil cap. But this probably actually works better when it's cold, except that you need a, a wrench to open it. Truck this old. A lot of times it's been hacked. Things cobbled together. And you never know what you're going to get into or find cross-threaded. Or One thing I do know, that spark plug boot's not very freaking good. So I ordered some spark plug wires. Ought to be the cheapest shit set ever. I mean, look how short those are. Stinky gas. I think I have a spare fuel filter. Oh, yeah. Mint. First, let's just spray some brake clean in this and see if we can get a run on that old stinky shit. I mean, you can smell it. It's bad gas. are definitely a little crusty. Oh, it stinks. I think this needs a carb kit. We'll see what happens here. This thing did have a clickety clack fuel pump in it when I got it. He turned it on and I heard it clack, 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 clack. It's not clickety clacking now. I'm thinking I might have some electrical issues. There are some things messed with that. I think this thing just disintegrated. It used to be some kind of relay there that was connected. Fuel pump. What the heck's going on over here with the lighting switch? Something. 
tells me this thing's had some issues. One thing, I don't think she's getting any of the bad gas because the pump's not clickety-clacking, but we're going to go ahead and siphon all that old shit out of there. Ooh, the smell, man. The smell. And there's... Look at that. Ethanol. Powder down in there. Corrosion powder. Probably going to need a couple filter changes. I'd be surprised if this tank's even good. Are you kidding me? Is there really a blockage in there? Can't seem to be able to get the hose down there. We're just going to hook onto the fuel filter right here. Even though this thing fires up on brake clean. There's a lot that needs done. Oh, I just sprayed it all over. Look at that stuff. Would you say that's varnished? Oh, it stinks. Oh, well, ooh, I didn't want to dump that all down there. The way she goes. Maybe once upon a time, it was a fuel filter. There's no filter in there. There's nothing in there. So was this a filter at one time? Is it some sort of expansion chamber? What, did it just completely disintegrate and the filters in my engine? Let me know down in the comments. Oh, we got fuel. That's good. I'll just let her drain out. Perfect. Not on the ground, though, of course. None of that dripped on the ground. Don't worry, Greta. I got you. I might try to... We're going to see if this old gas has any flammable left to it at all. Oh, it burns. It still burns. I'm going to put this out because it's smoking up my garage. Well, I got all red pulled in the garage. We accidentally sprayed that stinky old gas. I should probably wipe that off. I'm going to do that, but it did used to be red. And a little bit of paint magic. Can't really do anything there. But I mean, as far as buffing off the oxidation, she might look kind of neat, but... Right now, the whole garage stinks like that stinky gas. Look at the difference between these two as far as height. This one looks even smaller just because it's so low to the ground. The fuel pump clickety clacks again. I don't know why it stopped clickety clacking. Might have a mystery electrical problem that I have to deal with. There's a little twist clamp that clamps around the top there to seal it good. A couple extra bolts down here. I'm not sure what that used to go to. I didn't know what was going on here because I had a component missing. Pretty sure is a PCV port, which what it does is positive crankcase ventilation. It's a little port inside on the vacuum side of the intake manifold, or the vacuum side of the carburetor, I should say, on the intake manifold. During certain engine load conditions, it will cause the engine to suck in crankcase vapors through this port into the intake manifold side. This hose is also on, hooked up to the rocker cover and it connects to the air filter so that filtered air can make its way in. But then what I had was a hose here that was blocked off and I had a hose on the filter that was blocked off. Different sizes. What is missing here is there used to be an air pump, a smog pump, and some stuff mounted up here. This valve opens and closes with this little vacuum nipple. And what controls that, these little valves, one's thermal and one does something else, but basically when it's cold, it will close this valve to suck hot air from around the intake manifold. And then once it warms up, it opens back up and intakes like normal. All right, so I have these crusty lines replaced. I got the fuel filter installed. Rear fuel tank bypass, it's got it sticking straight in that judge. Jug. Now we're definitely down in the fuel, plus it's a, Racing can, so that ought to help. Take a click and clack, change his tone. Oh, it's changing tone. Oh, that's a good sign. All right, there's some in the fuel bowl. Single pump. Make sure it's out of gear because there's no clutch. Holy crap. That's just a charging light. I think my alternator. Well, 
was short lived. I got a carburetor kit coming too, but it's not going to be here for a minute. Oh, she looks pretty dry. I don't think the old accelerator pump is doing anything. The old accelerator pump's not doing anything, so. Probably it fired so fast the first time. Hey, the alternator worked itself out. Yeah, the accelerator pump. I think that's what's causing it to choke when I... Wow. Car definitely needs some work. to see the see the carburetor shoots and she's idling a little high but choked on so fast still hasn't opened up I should check the coolant I never did that Ooh, that. Well. Ooh, sniper shot. Did you see that? Yeah, the carb definitely needs some love. I don't know how healthy that alternator is either. That takes a minute. Wow, that almost that almost seems like the accelerator pumps. Oh, not there. I think she's going to need a little bit. Yeah, she don't want to idle. I'm going to have to definitely need some carb work. There's no doubt about that. The brakes are... There's some pedal there. The clutch is absolutely... There's nothing there. Brakes need blood. But she runs. That's a good sign. Alright. Alright, so we ran it off gas can gas and it runs. Mm, most of it I think the car, it doesn't look like the accelerator pump's doing anything. I think if I pump the idle up, maybe get the idle going and ease on the throttle, I can drive this thing. The thing is, I won't have a carb kit come in for this thing until this weekend. If I can get master cylinder swapped out, the brakes bled, I'd like to drive this thing, even if it's not running quite right. That's the plan right now. Disconnect, drop the gas tank, see what condition it's in, dump the old stinky gas out, put it back up, install new lines on it on the way there, gas lines. We'll get after that fuel tank next. <laughs>